Let's talk a little bit about the idea of retirement planning. Retirement planning is a two-step process because we have two very different scenarios going on. At the beginning, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving up money while we're working. So while we have paychecks coming in, we're going to start doing some regular contributions and we're going to start saving up more and more money in some sort of an interest bearing account. Then when we retire and stop working, now we're going to start draining out all of this money that we've saved up over time. And we want this to last throughout our retirement until we die. This is the art. Basically, what we're going to be doing is taking payouts from our account. Now, our money in the account is this is all going to be an interest bearing account. So you're going to be earning interest all the way through this cycle. But here we start out with we'll be getting a lot of interest here. And then as things get paid down, we'll be getting less and less interest from our interest account over time. And this is all built into the formulas. Because one of these is saving up and the other is spending, we use two different formulas as part of our retirement planning process. For the saving up while working, we're gonna be using the savings plan formula. And then for figuring out the payouts from our account, we're gonna be using the loan formula. Basically, we're taking a loan from our own account and paying ourselves. It's uh, essentially the way that, that you kind of think of that. But these are the two formulas that we're going to be using. The savings plan while you're working to get that total amount of money that you'll need at the end of retirement. And then we're going to be using our loan formula for getting our payments out over time and funding the lifestyle that we want after retirement. Let's suppose that in order to retire comfortably, what I am hoping to have is I want to have $1,500 every month for, let's say, 30 years. I'm expecting to live 30 years after I retire. I want to make sure to plan for that. And I'm hoping to get $1,500 a month to cover expenses after retirement. Hopefully my house is paid off at this point. Um, and you have some social security supplements, other things, but this is what we want to plan to get out of our retirement account to keep the, to keep our desired lifestyle after, after working. Okay. So what we can do here, if we know that we want this much money for this amount of time, what we can do is we can use the loan formula and try to figure out how much money we're going to need up front in order to fund that. In this case, let's consider that we have an account that's paying 7% annual interest. And we're going to be making contributions in this case every month. At the beginning, we're going to be saving every month. At the end, we're going to be taking money out every month. So. Our 7% interest is going to be R equals 0 0.07. Because we are doing all of these in terms of monthly payments and deposits, what we're going to be looking at is N equals 12. So if I want to figure out how much money I need in my account, I can use the loan formula and these conditions to get that value for A. So here's my loan formula. And putting in the information, I want to find A. I want my monthly payment to be fifteen to myself to be fifteen hundred dollars. My interest rate is seven percent, so I'm going to write that as 0 0.07 over twelve. And in this case, I'm hoping to live thirty years after I retire, so that's what I'm going to be planning for. We need to have some sort of a monetary goal to shoot for here. And we're going to divide by R over N, but of course we know what that is. We want 0 0.07 over 12. All right, so what we can do here, the amount that we want to save up from our loan can be calculated here again in Desmos. And we'll just put this expression in. So we want $1,500 every month. 
7% interest monthly. And we want that to be to the negative monthly for 30 years after retirement. And I'm going to divide that by 0 0.07 over 12. And so here what I figured out is that my final retirement goal, if I want to be taking this money out for 30 years every month, a total of $1,500, then oh, let me make sure that doesn't change with the parentheses here in the correct spot. So A is $225,461.35. So this is how much money I need to save up by the end of my working years to be able to have this uh, level of lifestyle when I'm done. All right. So this is how much I want to have here. My question then is, how much do I have to start saving every month in order to reach this? Well, let's suppose that I'm going to, I'm planning to work for 35 years before I retire. Well, in this case, if I'm going to be working for 35 years and I want to have $225,000 at the end of that, I'm going to be using my savings plan formula. And here's my savings plan formula again. It's a little bit different. One plus R over N to the NT minus one at the end, all divided by R over N. So in this case, the A is my savings goal that I need, which is going to be that $225,461.35. I want to figure out D, what my monthly contribution would have to be for this. And I'm still using the same savings account. So I'm still looking at 7%, 0 0.07 over 12. But because my time this time is going to be 35, because I'm going to be working for 35 years. Here, I was expecting 30 years of payment was what I was planning for. But I'm going to be working and saving up every month for 35 years. And here, I'm going to do 0 0.07 over 12 again. All right, I want to solve for D. There's a whole bunch of other stuff here on the same side of the equation. Oh, don't lose my minus one from the formula here at the end. There we go. And let's see what we get here. So we're going to do double parentheses. One plus 0 0.07 over 12. to the 12 times 35 power, back to the main level, minus one and close the parentheses. Then we want to divide that whole thing by 0 0.07 over 12. And this is basically telling me here, when I simplify all of this, this gives me 1801.05. Remember, this is not our monthly payment. It's just simplifying what was here on the right-hand side of the equation. And I still have 225, 461, 35 over here that I needed to, I want to end up with at the end. So to get the D by itself, I'm going to divide by this 180105. And let's go ahead and do that here on the calculator. We're going to take that. 225461.35. We're going to divide it by that 180105, which was, I'll just put my last answer here. And what I come up with is 12518. And this is really that huge, powerful power of money over time. If I save $125.18 each month for 35 years 
at the end of that period of time, I'm going to have $225,461.35. Once I stop working and stop contributing to my savings plan, I am basically going to take a loan out for myself to pay out my account. And if I want $1,500 for 30 years, that's where that $225,461.35 came from. So this is how much I need. This is how much I will have to save in order to get there, which is pretty cool. You're taking $1,500 a month out, but you're only putting $125 a month in. And that's the power of that accumulated interest over time. We love exponential functions when we're saving money. 